hope it motivates all of us, Pat. Mm -hmm. Why else would you do this, right? Um, what did Ricky Bobby's dad say? He ain't first, you're last. Yeah, right? Okay. I mean, I don't know how much wisdom's in that movie. I take that away from it. Um, there's two levels to competing. One, you want to win. You absolutely want to win. You want to win uh, it, with, with all of your soul, all of your being. You want to win. Every time you step on the field, you want to win. You can't win every time you step out there. Okay, right? That's the hard part. So, of course we want to win a Big Ten championship. That's the goal. That's the stated goal. That's what we talk about. Don't shy away from it. Um, but that's not all there is, right? Sure. That, that's the hard part about competing. I think about 2015, you know, we win the Big Ten West. Uh, we didn't lose a game. Um, we go to Indianapolis and seven of the hardest minutes, I, I would think of any of our lives that were there. Um, let me be very clear, our competitive lives, right? Because your personal life is a much different thing. And I, I think in sports, we probably get a little bit crazy on some hyperbole from time to time. Right, but the most difficult seven minutes of our professional lives probably happened on that field in Indianapolis. And it was the last, you know, seven and a half minutes. Gut-wrenching. Rip your heart out. But I'll never forget walking in that locker room and feeling proud uh, of our football team, feeling proud of the, the team I was a part of, um, feeling fulfilled. And, and and successful. I know that doesn't sound very successful to lose, um, but you were in a locker room full of guys that had given everything they have to a common goal, and we came up short. Did we play our best? No, we didn't play our best that night. Um, did we play hard? Did we give it our best effort for 13 straight weeks? Absolutely. Um, that to me is success. You hope that culminates in a championship. I just know this: if you don't have the first part you can't win the championship. You can't get the second part. Um, so I think, of course, we want a Big Ten championship. Motivates the heck out of you. 2004 is a long time ago, mm -hmm. all right? It's a long time ago. Trust me, uh, I saw a picture of 2004 the other day that involved me, and it dawned on me that it was a long time ago. Because uh, I wake up every morning, I don't know how you guys are, but man, I get out of bed and I go stand in front of the mirror and I still see a guy who's like 21 or 22. Um, I don't know if everybody sees that. I don't so, see that anymore. Yeah. But where, where do you see yourself? I won't ask you how old you are, Pat, but how old do you see in the mirror? I hope it's not your I age. I see my age. You see the full age? Mm -hmm. we got to get you some life coach or self-esteem <laughs> coach or something. Um, so, yeah, we, what we need to do is, is pour everything we have. It's like the old Vince Lombardi quote. Um, we got to pour everything we have into being the best that we can be. But, but hopefully, if we've done things right, if we've built the, the proper team, talent-wise, structure-wise, staff-wise, and, and I think we feel good about our pieces here, then that should mean we're capable of competing for that championship and hopefully winning it. But it doesn't happen without that full-on competition, right? And showing up every day of the year so that 12 weeks, 12 Saturdays, you can show it up and give your best effort. And that's it. That's all we can ask anybody, and that's what we're trying to do every day. Um, but it's easier said than done. Sure. You know? um, 